Hi, I'm Matt Seuss, and in this video, I'm going to talk about some color casts that are happening with using the new sky replacement from the brand new, just released Luminar 4. I don't know if you've noticed it yet, but I have seen a lot of photos online. I've seen it with my photos too, where you end up having a blue cast in your foreground. Now this is in particular when you're doing a sky replacement that was initially already photographed on a blue sky day, and you're just trying to add some clouds that have an, a blue sky background to it to give it a little bit more life. I've noticed it and I have seen some complaints about it too, so I know this is out there. I'm going to sort of do a quick walkthrough with you to let you know what's going on and hopefully you know, give you some tips on how to try and avoid this as much as possible. Let's take a look at this photo here in particular. This is going to be a good illustrative way to explain what's going on behind the scenes. Now, I've imported this nighttime sky photo from my Ultimate Cloud and Sky Kit. This is a sky number 395 of a Milky Way that I photographed. And all I did, everything, all these settings here are all set at the default except for the horizon position. I just increased the horizon position so that we can see the bottom of my photo. So this is the bottom of that cloud texture. Let's go ahead and just take a look at that. I'll show you what that, that was number 395. I'll show you what that actually looked like. I put that in, uh, I self-categorized this in my night sky folder. And we can see here, that's the bottom of my image. This is the entire image. So all I did was just raised that image up using the horizon position. Take a look down here. Now, it may not be obvious yet, but there, I have a color cast in the bottom here. Let's take a look at the before photo with nothing. Now this was photographed right at dusk. Sun was setting behind the tree. It's already gone way below the horizon. And we can see that the, cloud, the sky is actually almost getting, you know, it's a really dark navy blue going all the way down to a light blue as we progress down. When we throw the sky in there, and let's do a little uh, before and after, sky replacement what it does is it attempts to relight the scene and it attempts to relight your scene to blend your sky in with your foreground and it will grab the colors of your sky and it will then put those colors in the bottom of your photo to try and match and balance it'll also do tonal adjustments too so it'll lighten or darken your uh, your foreground to match the sky now, according to Skyloom, the Relight Scene Slider, the AI sky replacement tool relights the entire photo so that the lighting and colors of the original image match the lighting and colors of the sky. That's what I was just talking about there. You do have a slider, so you can affect the control of the relighting. However, when you zero this out, you still have an effect. You would think that by zeroing it out, you would have no effect at all so that there would be no color cast being introduced into the bottom of your photo. But we can see right here in this before and after, even with the relight scene set at zero, the AI part of, uh, of the software is still taking some of the color. And I have a little bit of green here. This is called Sky Glow for people who aren't familiar with photographing the Milky Way. You can check out what Sky Glow is exactly on Wikipedia. But it's an atmospheric condition you can see some really cool greens and everything in your photo well that happens to be at the bottom part of this milky way photo and it's throwing that greenish blue into the bottom of my photo and it's not something that i want now you can go ahead and click on edit mask and brush that out of your foreground but there's going to be some photos that that's just going to be way too time consuming and way too hard to do let me show you that in another photo let me grab this photo here and let me uh, wait for the sky replacement to load. And here we go. Let me just show you what this photo looked like beforehand without the sky replacement. Okay, and then turn it back on. Now by turning this off and on, can you notice that it's, I, I sort of got like a little greenish blue cast going on here. Let's zoom in on these trees in particular. This is with the sky replacement. This is with it off. You can see that there is a, a weird, really bad color cast that's being introduced here. And also even a little bit of uh, blown out detail in the brightest parts of the leaves. Now I do have the sky exposure set a little bit high. Let's see what's happening with that. I was trying to bright up just the sky. I thought that would just bright up the sky, but I also found that it's brightening, brightening up and even, even darkening if I go into the negative values here more than just my sky it's also doing a lot to the foreground 
So this is another kind of issue that I've discovered right now with the first version of the sky replacement from Luminar 4, where the sky exposure is really just adjusting, not just the sky that you would think, it's adjusting the whole photo. The relight scene, you would think when you do it to zero, it's not gonna relight your entire scene, but in fact, it actually is. So you can mask this out as I was talking before, but man, you know, trying to go through here with the brush and mask out all these leaves and the branches and everything like that, I don't know, I don't know about you, I just don't have the time or desire to do all of that. So you'd have to use some other techniques and maybe try using the color correction slider inside of uh, one, of the, one of the tools inside here in Luminar 4 or some other way of dealing with this color cast. Now I have reached out to my contacts at Skyloom letting them know about this and letting them know that I kind of think this is a little bit of a problem and it seems like all they need, really need to do is just sort of remap that relight scene slider so that when you go to zero it's not going to add any any cast color cast to your photo. I mean I don't know why it is doing that anyways. This was taken on a sunny blue day with no clouds and I'm just introducing a sky photographed on a sunny blue day with some clouds. So it shouldn't be changing the color cast in my foreground. So I do want to stress this isn't a situation that you may come across a whole lot, but when it does come out there, it kind of sticks out like a ugly thumb and it's, it's quite noticeable in the images that I've been dealing with when I have seen this rear its ugly head, so to speak. Again, hopefully Skyloom does address that in future versions of Luminar 4. I just wanted to make this video just to let you know about the problem and in case you may have already been experiencing it and wondering what the heck is going on and adjusting all these sliders and everything, there's really no slider that you can adjust. You would think the relight scene going to zero would adjust it. It's not. Hopefully they get this addressed.